Time for another cool PowerPoint trick. We'll create this 3D curved text that wraps around a 3D sphere. We'll use this sphere. Here are the settings for the sphere. To learn how to easily create a sphere or hemisphere of any size, check out our earlier videos in the description section of this video. There's also a link to a recommended video showing how to do this. First, let's see if we can simply use regular text and have it wrap around the sphere. We can double click on the shape to add regular text to the vector shape. We can also right click on the selected shape and choose, edit text. Type your text. Set its formatting. As you can see, using regular text doesn't work. The text remains flat and doesn't wrap around the sphere. We need a different way to apply our text to the sphere. The solution is to use the picture fill formatting. Here are the steps. We need a circle for the design. The idea is to create the text design, or art. Then we'll copy this design and apply it to the sphere as a picture fill. Here, we're simply duplicating the slide with the sphere to get the new circle. Be sure to clear all the 3D formatting from the shape. Create your text and add any design you like. Copy the circle by typing Ctrl C. This puts the design in the computer's clipboard. Select the sphere. In the shape format pane, go to the fill tab. Select picture or texture fill. Choose clipboard as the picture source. Congratulations! You've just created a cool looking 3D curved text effect. We can make several improvements to make it look better. First, because this is a picture or texture filled shape, you may see the visual artifact is shown here. PowerPoint does not handle picture fills on 3D bevels very well along the shape's edges. In this case, the edge is the circumference of the shape. The texture gets stretched and becomes semi-transparent. To work around this issue, we can add an outline to the shape. Use the same color as the fill color for the shape. This reduces the problem but does not completely fix it. Another workaround is to avoid posing your 3D sphere to the point that the illusion breaks. Next, check out the other side of the sphere. You'll see a mirror image of the design. This is exactly how the 3D bottom bevel works. We'll teach you how to create two separate independent sides to the sphere. We need to add a few more parts to our sphere. Select the sphere and duplicate it by typing Ctrl D. Align the shapes. We'll call the top shape, front, and name the bottom shape, back. Select both shapes using the Ctrl, A, command and group them by typing Ctrl G. Select the text design slide. Type Ctrl D to duplicate it. We'll create a different design for the back half of the sphere. Type Ctrl C to copy the shape. Type U to paste the copied shape as a picture. You can also right click on the slide and select paste as picture. Now we have one regular vector shape, and one picture. Select the picture. Go to Arrange, Rotate, and select Flip Horizontal. Copy this flipped image by typing Ctrl C. Select the sphere. Select the back shape. Click the clipboard button again to refresh the picture fill source. The new design has been applied as a picture fill to the back shape. However, we don't see this because the front shape is covering the back shape. Both shapes are spheres. We need to turn them into hemispheres. Select the front shape. Click the bottom bevel and choose, no bevel. Now we can see the back shape with the new design already applied. Because it is ordered behind the front sphere, and these shapes are picture filled shapes, we can see that the back is partially covered by the front. This is not the case when we're working with solid filled shapes. 
Next, we'll convert the back sphere into a hemisphere. We want to keep its bottom bevel and remove its top bevel. Select the back shape. Click the top bevel and choose, no bevel. Set the distance from ground value to zero. Remove the outlines from both shapes. Ungroup the shapes by typing Ctrl Shift G. Select both shapes. Duplicate them by typing Ctrl D. Realign the duplicated shapes. We'll use them as solid filled background shapes. Set their fill colors according to their respective design's color. Type Ctrl A to select all the shapes. Type Ctrl G to group them. Excellent. The rig is completed. We can use it to create any 3D text that wraps around the sphere with unique designs on the front and back sides. By hiding the solid filled background shapes, you can see that the rig does not show the designs correctly. The solid filled background shapes are critical in making the rig work properly. With this rig, you only need to focus on creating your design. The rest is just copying and pasting the design onto the rig. We'll call this our basic 3D sphere rig. This rig has many other useful applications that we'll share in future videos. Here are several more example 3D curved text designs. What designs will you create? Feel free to share the links to your designs in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our amazing new and unique PowerPoint tricks and techniques. This video is brought to you by the Visual Makery. We make PowerPoint art and animation. We develop and teach advanced PowerPoint techniques.